Hello my Hello Kitty fans, this is Hello Gabius and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification and like this video. In today's video, I show you a place where I went when I saw my family in California. This is at the City of Industry, California and this is the Frank and Son Collectible Show. This is like a warehouse of fun and for the ones that you've already gone uh, to this show it's like a collector's items show you go there's like plushies there's trading cards there's action figures there's cars there's playing cards there's uh, toys there's posters there's mini statues there's absolutely everything that you can possibly collect you will find in this show gosh to even park there it took us like 30 minutes to find a parking. I'm just happy that my nephew allowed me to tag along when he went to this collection show. My nephew does collect comics and he was telling me about this collection show that he always goes to to update his collection and or to sell or whatever he does with his comic books. Um, I tagged along and it was amazing. So I took as much footage as I could. I'm gonna fast forward this video footage just so that you can see what it looked like to like be in there. going in there for me I'm um, going there for the very first time it's so overwhelming you don't know where to look there's just items everywhere so my main purpose of course was I'm gonna hunt for let's see what they have for Hello Kitty right so I was trying to video tip what I could and it's just items left and right top to bottom you could easily spend their more than two hours and you probably won't even be done if you're really looking for you know whatever it is that you want to start to collect so I did find quite a few vendors that had Hello Kitty items I didn't buy everything I saw at Hello Kitty but I did buy just a couple of items and I am just so happy for what I bought and let me show you what I got so I have this little black bag And the first item, this looks like it's homemade. So this is Hello Kitty and it's on a keychain. So 
So she has like the deck of card symbols down here. She has her little star little wand, her little hat. And then on the key ring here, it also has another little vinyl Hello Kitty here. It also has a little Hello Kitty vinyl here as well. And it's pretty heavy. So this little doll here is pretty, pretty heavy. It feels like a hard, like a Funko Pop kind of figurine. That's how hard it feels like. Um, but it does have a lobster crawl here and as well as a regular keychain here. This was only $5 and they had her in different colors. So I think they were in yellow and blue. And of course I picked red. And there was no tag to these. So that makes me think that they were just handmade, which was fine for only $5. It's very unique to me. So I said I must grab it. So this is my first item, a Hello Kitty keychain. Second item, I entered like this little booth and there were like posters, there were some postcards and it was from the artist himself and he would actually draw everything that he was selling there at that booth. That is what he made himself. So um, I ended up purchasing a Hello Kitty postcard that I saw. It's not your typical uh, Hello Kitty looking face but it's Hello Kitty nonetheless. And I just love the way that he made this Hello Kitty. So when I purchased it, he did give me this bag and he draws on the bag. And I thought that was pretty unique there as well. So this is pretty much his sign here. This is his name. And all of these little handbags, when you buy something, he gives it to you with this image here. So let me show you what I got. So this is actually perfect for when Halloween is, is coming around, which is coming around the corner. But I just thought it was so unique. I mean, I know it looks a little gruesome. It's like, oh, how could they do this to Hello Kitty? But I just like that he also had Hello Kitty items in there too. He had about, I wanna say maybe two other different types of Hello Kitty postcards. This postcard was only $5, which I think was well worth it, especially if he drew it himself. And he also has his signature here at the bottom. But I thought, you know what, that's pretty neat. I need to have it. This is something that I can definitely frame and put in my uh, around my, my room here. Um, but I absolutely love it. So it's just a white Hello Kitty postcard. How awesome is that? And then lastly, I went to a booth where they were selling a lot of, uh, they were like purses and wallets of anime, uh, Star Wars, of Mickey Mouse, of everything you can think of he had. He also had Hello Kitty stuff. Now, I believe that these items, some of the items might have been brand new. I know that the item that I purchased is not brand new. Um, and, I don't, and I say that because the tag was off. I still attached the tag to it, but I don't think that it's a brand new item. I ended up buying like a little mini wallet from this booth and it is a Hello Kitty mini wallet. It is from Loungefly. He was selling this awesome wallet for $20. I have never seen a wallet like this before. I mean, it's sequence in here, but it does have like a vinyl covering on top so you cannot feel the sequins, so they're not gonna snag anywhere. But the bow, you can feel it. You can feel the embroidered outlining of the bow. So the bow is red metallic, gold. It has zipper closure. And in the back, it also has like sequins the Hello Kitty name, and then of course it's another vinyl covering on top, so you cannot feel the sequins. And then it has a ring here for you to attach. And then this is how much it was, I still have the price on here. But this is why I think that this might not have been a brand new item, and it's just a used item, but he makes sure that the tag wasn't lost, or whoever he bought it from, I, I don't know, I have no idea. But it's pretty roomy, so of course it is stuffed with paper. And then inside, it just has the inner silk lining and it does have the Hello Kitty tag inside as well. So it's definitely Loungefly, it's definitely Hello Kitty authentic um, wallet. Now I searched online 
for this little wallet to see you know when did it come out and or did I maybe pay a good price so I paid $20 I found like two of these at the Mercari website they were selling them for like $13 so I figured e I paid like seven dollars more but these two websites or these two sellers were selling them with like eight dollars still shipping and handling additional to the thirteen dollars so bottom line it was still around the same ballpark of around twenty dollars just like what I paid for there at the frankincense collectible show so to me still not bad so like I said I have never seen a wallet like this before to me it is very unique the gold is what really got me and it is in an awesome condition so I'm a smeller I smell all of my stuff and it just smells like when you buy a bag it has that vinyl plasticky smell that's what it smells like but other than that it's definitely authentic lounge fly and Sanrio item so so those are the three items that I purchased. I am so happy with my purchase. I am so happy with my experience to going to the Frankincense Collectible Show. I'm so happy that I went there. I hope that I can go there again when I see my family again. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification to notify you of when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.